What's the haps? I'm Maroka and welcome back to Rosh Fusion! Actually in a new version this time. Since the last video they have updated to beta 0.24 which has a number of tweaks and changes and things. Uh, I don't think there was anything particularly exciting changed about the ship I showed you last time. However, the ship I was planning to take a look at this time, Bat, has had a little bit of a change. So let's hop into that. This is uh, the Bat is what it is. Which is a... So it's kind of a fast-firing railgun thing, but then it overheats and slows down a little. So uh, it's kind of got this laser pointer thing going on to show you roughly where you're aiming, basically. Oh, indeed, exactly where you're aiming. It's a laser pointer. It's, it highlights the target. And then if you fire a few shots, if I demonstrate by firing off a bunch, it's, it sort of overheats and slows down. It's going on a little bit. It gives off a little bit of smoke on the gun cannons, and then the gun cannons glow red. Uh, to indicate that they have overheated and it's not going to fire quite so quickly, which is kind of interesting. And yeah, if you just hold down the trigger, you can get off with a lot of firepower. It's a pretty powerful cannon and it pierces through enemies, but uh, yeah, obviously once it starts firing slowly, it's going to be less powerful. Uh, last build, it didn't have any visual indication that it was overheating, so it's kind of quite a nice tweak that you can see that now. So, we have a minefield, we have didgeridoom, and we have wasps. Uh, tweaks since last build, didgeridoom, not that I showed you it last time, but now it doesn't go quite as far, it's a bit more controllable. I didn't quite like it as a weapon in the last build, it was a bit unwieldy. And it's not so bad now, but it's a pretty weak source weapon, I think. I will take it just for demonstration purposes, I suppose. So, didgeridoom does that, it flies out and destroys things, and then comes back to you, because, uh, I... It just seems like a strange mishmash of Australian culture, mind you. It's it, it's a boomerang, but they call it a didgeridoom. What? I don't know. So, yeah. Australians are going to love that one. It's on a fairly short cooldown, so you can throw it fairly frequently. Uh, I hope there are upgrades that upgrade the damage. I'm not rightly sure what upgrade path this one particularly takes, because obviously I've not used it a great deal. It's See, it just flies through enemies and often doesn't do a whole lot of damage. It's As a weapon, it's kind of weak source. Uh, the, reducing the range makes it a lot more controllable as a weapon. I'll take the minefield. Uh, but still not a particularly potent one. See, it just doesn't do, doesn't do squat. However, a minefield! That'll do some damage. There we go, that uh, does some nice damage. Uh, I think they, they changed this recently so that it's uh, less powerful and the mines stay, stay, stick around less time, but it's on a much shorter cooldown now, so you can deploy that more frequently. I quite like it for these sort of snaky enemies that chase you around because you can just sort of kite them through a field of mines. It's pretty effective against those kind of ones. So if we do that... Hey guys, come get some! Yeah. Swoop around, yeah, into the mines. There's a... There's a I, think, I think it was the boss I showed you last time, or mini boss that I showed you last time, uh, was the red snaky boss. It's great against the red snaky boss. It's a fantastic weapon against this red snaky boss. Alright, the didgeridoom, not so much. Surprised that killed that, but there you go. I'm still kind of showing upgrades just of things that are new to the game since, well, since the last major look I took at the game, uh, because they're more interesting. Uh, we had a look at bullet timer before, didn't we? Don't know if we took the magnet. I'll take the magnets. This will suck in upgrades from miles away, like that, which is good for getting your ship upgraded. Kind of feels like it's uh, almost sacrificing an upgrade slot. It's like you, you could take a powerful weapon or a noteworthy upgrade, but instead you're just more ma making your base stats more effective by taking the magnets. Uh, let's throw those down. It's not a very good way to do that, but they sort of drift around. They sort of seem to gravitate towards enemies and then explode and do that. And I can do that. It's an awful weapon. It really is. I don't like the didgeridoom. I can't. I may, maybe, I, I don't know if I'm using it wrong, that's the thing with these things, it's like, am I just using it wrong or is it actually underpowered? It's kind of hard to tell with these sort of uh, unfinished products, so it's like, yeah, I know the game still needs some balancing, so there's definitely a chance that it's underpowered, but I could just be really awful at using it, and there may be like some secret strategy. But the fact that, ah, oh, nuts. Uh, the fact that I can deploy it and hit an enemy a bunch of times with it and it just doesn't kill the enemy suggests it's pretty weak. So now I've got no real major defensive upgrades, and these things need these things need some firepower to take them out, and some crowd control. I just don't have that going, and that was just stupid, more so than anything else. I don't think I'm going li to live very long here. I might do another run with this ship, just for the sake of actually doing it right, because taking the silly upgrades just isn't working out. 
Although they're all clustered together, so that's nice. Ah, oh, there we go. Railgun for the win. If everyone gathers together, the railgun just goes through everything and destroys stuff. So that's nice. Right, this is one of the unique upgrades, which is glancing shots. I think they've upped that recently. It was kind of not quite as dramatic an effect, and you couldn't really see what it does. Basically, this means shots are gonna... Okay, I've overheated. Uh, shots are going to basically bounce off and hit other enemies. They already do that, given that it's a piercing shot, so I'm not sure it's a particularly amazing upgrade, but... I guess it sort of gives you a slightly wider area of effect than just going straight through the enemy. I really should- that was a really risky maneuver to do there, to be fair, the- let's see if they work. Uh, trying to go for those upgrades. Didgeridoom! I really shouldn't crash into a group of enemies for upgrades when I have a magnet as well, that seems like- that's just asking for trouble. Yeah, if you guys want to fly around and hit, yeah, mines, that'd be great. Or I could just, you know, take a bunch of damage and die. The bat has the potential to be pretty good, but I've got- this is not a good build, I don't think. I'm building this ship really poorly. And I've got no survivability, which means if I take hits, I, I'm quite squishy and will die. Um, I thought I could sneak through there. I could not! Well, hell, let's do that one again. Let's take the bat for another spin. And let's not be stupid with it. If I get some good upgrades, I'm not going to forego them for the sake of showing off what a didgeridoom looks like this time. Let's actually try and kill some stuff. See, uh, it's not bad. They've also added a mild auto-targeting. This ship used to be pretty unwieldy, kind of difficult to get to grips with. The mild auto-targeting on the laser now actually it makes it a lot more easier to hit these guys with. Previously, these tiny little enemies, they were a real nightmare to get rid of, and I think it would probably put a lot of new players off the game fairly quickly. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, I didn't... I prefer the survivability one sort of upgrade, maybe three, four, five-ish kind of time, once we've got a bit of firepower. I prefer more firepower early on, but quick charge is a nice bit of survivability. Will come in handy later, assuming I can get some firepower before then. That red, that red one's getting annoying to hit. There we go, I got rid of it. The green ones... I've seen, seen some people complain about green ones being tricky to hit, but they don't seem to be too much of a problem since, you know, if you don't bother with them, they tend to fly off anyway, and it's like, they're no problem. They go away if you don't bother with them. Mm. You can kill them for points and things, but if you want rid of them whilst you're dealing with red fish things chasing you... I guess they're part of the snake family rather than the fish family, but... Given this, I've not seen any actual fish in this game, but there we go. Alright, what have we got? We've got more defense. We've got bullet times. Mm, I'm kind of kind of cool on bullet time. It's it's not a bad weapon, but uh, well, it's not really a weapon. Uh, utility, I guess. It's not a bad utility, but uh, there are ones I prefer more. Okay, right. So let's do a black hole. Let's just clear everything off the screen. That works for me. Let's take them out. But one of the things I forget about the bat is... Uh, just holding down the trigger, I don't know, I treat, I treat it like the laser ship, I tend to w pace my shots and sort of aim them. Whereas, you know, it's got five shots in a row before it overheats, and I could stand to make better use of that. Or I could just clear the screen with one of those! Yep, that'll work for me. And then I've got all these guys, which are going to be trouble now, because uh, they would have been better getting sucked into a black hole, but what can you do? The black hole has been nerfed, but you can now pick up upgrade orbs for them, so... You can you can improve it somewhat. Let's, let's do that, there's too many enemies for my liking there. It's good for getting rid of the bullets on the screen as well. If there's uh, lots of things shooting at you, you can just get rid of all the bullets. That's what I wanted, a pew. There we go, more firepower. That's brilliant. That's a good, that's a good upgrade. I like that. Uh, another ch recent change to the bats... Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me, is that uh, actually the shields don't regenerate? I think it was this. Is it this? It is this one, yes. I should probably take some hits and find. The shields don't regenerate as long as you're firing. No, wait. No, that's the other ship. I keep forgetting, sorry. No, I think I think this one. I think this one, the ship. That's. I don't know, I want to take a hit, but I don't want to die, take a hit. So, kind of tricky. I suppose I could do. Did they even damage me? Okay, there we go. Yeah, oh yeah, it is this one, yeah, see, as long as I hold down fire, those shields aren't regenerating, yep. Okay. Tested. Consider that one thoroughly tested. Which is an interesting mechanic, because I don't think any of the other ships do that, unless I am sorely mistaken. 
which does make it an interesting strategic one, which I think is, I think it has to compensate for the fact that the gun is actually pretty potent. It does have its weaknesses, I still don't think it's particularly great for crowd control, but it is a fairly potent gun when you land your targets. Give me those upgrades, there's fire rate and fire rate, good, I'll take them. Uh, can we do that? There we go, everybody dead. I uh, got some more gravity, which presumably is an upgrade for the black hole. LED, excellent, more firepower. Yes, I'll take that. That's the other little ship that flies around you and shoots lasers. So we've got Pew is the one that shoots extra shots, and the LED is the one that shoots the lasers. A light emitting diode. Or laser emitting diode? Well, I know, I know in IRL it would be a light, and laser is light, so... Interchangeable! I don't know what you'd call it. They don't, they, don't, they don't go to any great lengths to explain what half the names are for any of the things. Uh, right now, I think they are planning to name the ships at some point in the game, but right now the only way to get the names for the ships is to get the achievements for deploying the ultimates, or, you know, to ask the devs what the name of the ship is. Which I have done so before. So I did not know what the bat was, I just called it the railgun ship for a while. And they're like, oh, it's called the Bat. Oh, you don't say that anywhere in the game. If they have names, make them known. Make the ship names known. It's a, it's not my favorite ship, but it's a neat little ship. I was guy. It's like I say, it took a little while getting used to it. I think it probably takes less time to get used to now than it did once upon a time. So it's probably more accessible, but I don't know. See what progress can be made. There we go. A couple more fire rates. Fire rate seems like kind of a moot upgrade on this one when you consider that most of my time is spent actually not holding the fire button down continuously. Very rarely do I find that to be a useful situation. Well, it probably would be a useful situation. I just don't think you do it. Yeah, there's like that enemy there. The big ones, the big ones need a few shots to get through them. I should probably hold the fire button down on them, but I don't. I pace my shots. I still treat it like the laser ship. I don't know. I don't know if that's my failings or whether there could be, I don't know, something else to incentivize the player to do that. I, I, I generally have a tendency to assume it's my own personal failings. Just because I'm not very good at things. Like video games. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm awful at video games. Why am I playing them? I don't like the blue ones. The blue ones can just get sucked into a black hole for all I care. Just the, like I said, the precision of these, this ship, the fact that it's just a very high precision weapon makes it really difficult to clear big groups of enemies like the blues. So you find yourself sort of just wanting to get rid of them like that. Uh, I'll take the phase shield. This is about the right time to take the phase shield in the game. At this point, you're, there's going to be a lot of firepower coming your way, probably, and having that extra survivability where you can take a hit and not take any damage. That's nice to have. That is really good. Uh, Say upgrade five, I think that was for me here. Yes, so that's good. Like I said, there's the there is that visual that says, "Oh, your gun is overheated now." But at this point in the game, I'm more keeping an eye on the enemy, and I never really find much opportunity to stare at my ship's gun to find out whether it's glowing red or not. Maybe that could be made a little bit more obvious. I like the design. I think perhaps it could be stand to be more obvious when you're flying about and looking for enemies. It's a very subtle effect. Oh my god at that. Ah, right, yes. I have, I have my ultimate available. I didn't realize I had that. This is good. So this just lets me... I don't, I don't really know what it does. It's a bit of a manic one. It replaces your weapons, basically, for a short period of time. Uh, your deployable weapons. The, pressing any deployable weapon immediately makes you use your ultimate. In this one, you just sort of dash around the screen and hit things. It feels a little underwhelming, if I'm honest. The laser ship is by far the most dramatic and definitely the most fun to use. That one's just crazy sauce. I will get around to showing you that at some point, but right now I want to show off the new ships more so than anything else. Uh, okay. There's a lot of enemies there. Let's just get rid of them all. There we go. It's fun, and there's a couple of damage and recharge upgrades there. Brilliant. So yeah, I'm not really sure where the bat's ultimate goes, it's just sort of, hey, move around really fast and crash into things, and they all die when you crash into them. Um, okay then. It still clears the screen, I mean, all of the ultimates are great for just getting rid of all of the enemies around you if you're having trouble with uh, enemies at any stage, but... Okay, that's... <laughs> it just doesn't have the gravity to get those ones at the bottom of the screen, that's annoying. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, the uh, ultimate definitely does clear the screen, but I don't know. It, it, seems, it lacks the gravitas that other effects have. Uh, the Trinity, which the missile ship sort of covers the screen in like, I guess, fireworks and blows everything up, which is actually a pretty impressive and cool effect. And yeah, the laser, the lasers are pretty, pretty awesome ones to, to let loose. But the bats, I don't know. We need something else. Uh, the beard, the basic ship, is that one just. It transforms you into a phoenix, which is really awesome, and then doesn't seem to do much with the phoenix, which is kind of a shame. It's like, that's a really impressive effect. If you ha if all the ships had this cool transform into something entirely else effect, that'd be awesome, but they don't. Right, here's a boss! That's a proper boss, by the way. This is not this is non not one of your namby-pamby uh, mini-bosses. This is a proper boss. So, I'm going to try and dodge all the things. I'm going to let my comrades flying around me deal with most of the things that are attacking, I guess. Can we throw a black hole? Is that going to do anything to it? No, I just bugger all. That's an awful weapon against this this particular enemy. This is pro this is where it gets a bit bullet hell because these ones actually have a proper pattern that you want to really be dodging. Uh, these ones pretty much just go for you. Those ones are just huge explosions that I don't want to be near. And then we come, then we go back to the waves of things that I really just want to. Can we just do that? I'll get rid of them. That'd work. Yeah, that'll, that does the job just fine. I just want to be. I just want to be shooting at them. Really, kind of does that shockwave thing, which seems to direct the bullets towards you. I'm rather glad I actually got to a boss here because uh, boss, these bosses are really cool and fun, and I wanted to show one off. This one has got like five phases, and that's phase one. This is insane. Such an insane fight. So, stop doing that. Fortunately, the bosses are big enough that you can shoot for most of the screen and probably still hit the boss. Uh, I just want rid of those. If I had, uh, if I had other deployable weapons, uh, active weapons, uh, it's probably be a little easier. The fact that I've got the black hole and it's pretty much immune to the black hole is not a helpful state of affairs. I will confess. If I had the freaking laser or the beehive. Those would be really good right now. Those would... Yeah, let's get rid of the bullets as well. Nice. Yeah, the, those particular weapons are nice and effective against uh, this. Cause so you, it's just a lot of firepower in one place on one target, and it's a really big target, so guess what? It works. Okay, let's uh, cool down. This is probably one of the few options, uh, opportunities in the game to actually get a good look at the overheating mechanism, so you can actually see quite how fast you're going to be firing. Because as you can sort of just, while you're chilling out, dodging bullets and stuffs, uh, you've got an opportunity to actually have a look at your gun's colour, as it were. I'm glad I've got the phase shield as well. I would probably have died a few times if it weren't for the phase shield. I will say that much for it. It's almost down. Well, this phase is almost down. I think there's more to it. Yep. There we go. Now it's turned into a bat thing. That, I was not paying attention I got hit by something nasty there. I'm glad, very glad I had the face shield. It's a very worthwhile weapon to take. Oh, oh upgrade. It's not, not, it's not a weapon, is it? It's defensive. Okay, a lot of those. They're going to just... Yeah, just do that. Yeah, uh, the fact that you can't destroy all the... Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! You can't destroy those entire groups. Yikes. I don't recall having seen that particular formation before. That's getting a bit hectic. You can't destroy an entire group with the uh, with the uh, black holes. Kind of annoying. Oh, now this phase seems to be going faster than I recall it going before. To be honest, I don't know if they've nerfed nerfed the later phases of this fight. But uh, well, I uh, nerfed. Mm. I say nerfed. Nerfed its health. But I think they buffed its attack power because this is getting a bit more hectic than I seem to recall it. But it's dead, and I did. Did I not get any of those upgrades? Oh my god, they dropped so many upgrades, I didn't get any of them. That's horrifying. Oh, come on. And I don't want any of those upgrades, those are all awful ones. I'll take glancing shots, I guess. I don't like it. Uh, the other unique upgrade for this ship is quite a potent one. I probably would take it if I saw it. It's kind of kind of a bland one though, because it just all it does is make you fire two shots at once instead of one. 
Uh, I'm underpowered now for what I should be because, quite frankly, I should have gotten, like... I, I don't even know how many upgrades those bosses drop, but it's a lot of them and I should have had them. And I didn't get them. There's some upgrades, I want them. Gimme. Give Gimme. Give Cooldowns and power and things. There's a bunch. Gimme those. Yes, recharge times. Good. Uh, there's a little bunch of purples I don't like. Get in the black hole. There's some upgrades. And how many lives am I? I've still got one life left. That's okay. This is not the worst run I've ever done in my life. This is a fairly respectable run. Oh, this is the bloody Pong one. I hate the Pong ones. It shoots a weird disc back and forth and I hate these guys. Ah! Okay. Everybody out. Everybody go away. Just leave me alone. And it's- I don't- I don't even know what that disc's bouncing off. In, the other ones on the other side are gone, so you can't play Pong with them. Right, give me those upgrades. Oh. Purple waves are not amazing. I, they can line up quite nicely like those. That's not bad, actually, there. In that particular instance... Just do that. There we go. In that particular instance, when they're all in a big vertical line, and I've got a piercing weapon. That's pretty okay. I feel I should have more firepower than this at this stage, though. Damn it! That was just careless. I think if I'd had more upgrades, these guys would be a lot softer, but... As if I lost all the upgrades... There we go. I'm over. If I, as if I lost all the upgrades that the boss dropped. It's ridiculous. There we go, 18 million. Not quite the 74 that I've got on the leaderboard, but there we go. This build also comes with a bunch of statistics at the end, which is kind of nice to see. So you can see I got one ultimate, I killed two bosses. I do think it would be nice to be able to distinguish between bosses and mini-bosses, because they are very different things and probably should be tracked statistically differently. Because obviously I killed the red snake boss, which is not particularly all that challenging. And then I killed the red mega boss, whatever you'd call it. And that's considering more of a challenge, and I feel like those two should maybe be handled differently. But there you go. At the moment they are still one and the same. <clears throat> that was a slightly more reputable run through Rosh Fusion. And you got to see one of the bosses, which was kind of cool. So there you go. So thank you very much for watching. I've been Maroka. This is the update to Beta 0.24 and a, run, a couple of runs, in fact, with the bat. So thank you for watching. I've been I've been Maroka. I'll see you next time.